Hello everyone. In this video, we will move to small data set to the big data set. Up until now, we uh, only control a small data set because we learned about our programming grammar basically, and we uh, should know what is the merit of the R program with the data analysis, right? So we will extend the data set slowly and then we can cover the, the efficient way for controlling data sets as well as the algorithm, all right? Okay, so we will go ahead. Um, in data analysis, we can classify uh, the steps with three uh, categorized. First one is the data collection. How can you collect our data? Second is data processing. How can we efficiently process our data set? And third one is data storage. How can we uh, store uh, our data set uh, safely and comfortably? All right. So in the first step, we collect and consider data sets with various ways. Up until now, we only consider toy data set, right? With the R programming uh, grammar, right? But if you want to get and collect data uh, with the size and the methodology automatically, we can get the big data size in data set market or data clothing. So we can cover data clothing in future too, so don't worry about it. If you are interested in the data set in online, such as Facebook, Twitter, and other social network, you, if, if you want to crawl, if you want to collect data, you can do it all by yourself with R programming, all right? And then uh, you can process the data regarding this of data set size. So uh, in March, we covered the small toy data set and data processing for covering our programming grammar, right? But in case of big data uh, processing, we should know our programming per rows. So we should cover it on top of the basic grammar. And in case of the application types, sometimes data processing is very difficult and hard for uh, controlling. So uh, one of the applications uh, can be social network analysis, artificial intelligence, and um, network issue such as the IoT and so on. All right. So IoT is the abbreviation uh, of Internet of Things and so on. All right. So um, according to the, our status and degree, we can uh, touch the each application uh, shortly, so don't worry about it. Sometimes, according to the size of a big size, um, according to the big data size, we should process our big data on the uh, scalable platform such as Hadoop or Spark. So we will cover Spark uh, shortly, so don't worry about it, all right? So please take part of this slide because after this lecture, if you have an interview or uh, intern in other uh, university researcher or companies, if you have some questions about the definition of big data and the methodologies, uh, you can uh, clearly explain the categorized of the uh, data analysis, such as data collection, data processing, and data storage. Of course, if you uh, and we focus on big data itself, we can also consider the factors of the big data, such as the volume, and uh, velocity, and variety, 
and so on. So we will cover it soon. So don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. So uh, as I talked to you uh, in the previous slide in March, uh, we talk about the R tutorial with the grammar part. So we classified the R grammar with the reserved words, functions, variable, data, and packages. And we uh, put the each category uh, in our word file with the information, right? But from, Mar uh, from April, from this uh, week, uh, we should know uh, what is the role uh, of the R uh, packages or um, the problem. So according to the advanced uh, the packages, or problems, we should classify the, the R functions uh, into the uh, proper categorizations or classification, all right? So our tutorial part can be covered from the basic part of the uh, basic grammar, such as uh, the reserved word, function, variable data, packages. Frankly, these five categories uh, can be applied to other languages too, such as Python, C, Java, and so on. So that is the basic grammar for programming. But uh, specifically, if you uh, learn uh, about the R of data analysis, you should know the spring manipulations uh, with past pick packages, math functions, uh, metrics, uh, manipulations, read and write data, statistical analysis, selected functions list. So if you click the plus menu, you can get the enough and many unlimited functions under the uh, each category. All right. So uh, in this video. Uh, we will focus on string manipulation first shortly and finally we can cover the big data such as the movie land. All right. Okay. So the project two is big data analysis as I talked to you before. So our first uh, data set for big data analysis is the movie land data set. You can download this link and you can also uh, refer the R code, original R code in this um, server. This is the, my uh, account of server. So I typed uh, the R code and I uploaded it. So you can download it. Even though uh, I uh, will upload the R code in iCampus, but sometimes you can direct uh, you can refer the code directly in my server, all right? So in this big data, uh, there are uh, 6,000, around 6,000 movieland users, and there are uh, around 4,000 movies, and there are enough rating values, all right? So we can consider two-dimensional uh, metric or data frame uh, structure uh, naturally. So you can imagine before uh, my specific explanations, all right? Okay, uh, if you uh, check the, the rating, that's the AT file, there are unlimited the the continuous the integer values are existed, right? Even though uh, we can understand these integer values uh, as just integer, but uh, integer values, each integer values have its own uh, roles, such as if you um, recognize, understand the First, uh, the line uh, of the uh, rating that's ratings that the file, 
The first uh, integer means user ID. Second is movie ID. Third one is rating. Last one is timestamp. All right. So the user ID uh, can range can be ranged between one to around six thousand. Movie IDs can be ranged between one to uh, uh, between one and around um, four or thousand. All right. Ratings are made on five star scale. Okay, so five means very good, and one means very bad, maybe. All right, and three means the medium, uh, the interest of this movie. How about timestamp? Timestamp is representative in seconds since uh, the epoch as returned by time. All right. So uh, similar to this uh, explanation of ratings, that's the AT. Uh, we can also uh, explain the movies that's the AT uh, file. So this file uh, can cover movie uh, ID, title, and genres. All right. So movie ID is just integer number. And titles are identical to titles provided by uh, IB database. All right. And uh, genre uh, is the pipe separated, the pipe separated and are selected from genre. All right. So there are many kinds of movies are there. So naturally, we can classify movies according to their genre and uh, 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 their titles and so on, right? And the last uh, big data uh, size, uh, big data type is the users, that's the AT. So, uh, first uh, number uh, means the user ID, second is gender, and third one is age, first is occupation, last one is zip code. So according to the user ID and genre and age, we can guess uh, what kind of genders and ages are uh, interested in the movie or not like that. So gender is denoted by uh, AM for male and F for female. AG can be chosen from um, the following the uh, categorized. All right. So uh, we can uh, explain uh, the each big data set with enough time, uh, with enough explanation uh, per each index. So occupation is also chosen from the following choices. So in this video, we just started big data analysis with the mobile range data set. So from next video, we will go ahead and uh, discuss about the what kind of results are possible like that. Okay, thank you. See you next movie. Bye bye.